What's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. If you are new, uh, please consider subscribing so you can be notified anytime I publish something new. One way that we help kids fall in love with reading is by matching them with amazing text. And the book we're going to be talking about today is a 2021 middle grade novel in verse, Red, White, and Whole by Regine LaRocca. Holy smokes! This book just wrecked me. Like, I was a mess. And it was one of those books where, like, I was so excited to share it with other people, but I wasn't, like, ready to talk about it yet. Usually I try to film these videos within a day or two of finishing this finishing a book, and I think that I finished this book, like, a week and a half ago. I just needed time to process it and I just needed time to sit with it. Um, it tore me up. Uh, it takes place in 1983. It's um, about a girl named Reha and she is Indian American. Her parents uh, came from India and she is first generation here in the United States. She is like trapped between two worlds, like the world in her family um, the Indian family and then this world at school she has like white friends she has Indian friends and she's always throughout the book trapped between uh, two different things and I think that's so interesting for for kids to um, just to see how we're pulled in different directions I thought that was super fascinating as someone who grew up in a very very like not very rural, but in a rural, you know, lower middle class community where everyone looked like me. My parents grew up in the same community and like for like generations, like at least half the family's been within a 20 mile radius to read about someone coming to this country, uh, her family coming to this country and how that affects how she is raised. She is an only child. She is the apple of her parents' eyes. And Reha just has some stuff that I just can't even fathom. Even as a 39-year-old person, I can't even fathom like, any of the things. And isn't that, isn't that one of the most beautiful things about reading is that we get a chance to experience things and we get a chance to just see the world through other people's eyes and other cultures' eyes and other communities' eyes, other genders' eyes, other, other, others. And... Uh, I just feel so thankful that I got a chance to meet this family, that I got a chance to uh, see this girl try to figure things out and go through some stuff. Wow. Like, you know, the book as one uh, part of the book, you're like dealing with her trying to be able to go to the middle school dance, like convince her mom that it's OK and she's old enough to attend a dance. And then we're dealing with things that get really hard and her mother gets leukemia and whew, another thing like I can't even like I'm my parents have been nothing but healthy my entire life and to see this kid go through something so hard and deal with something so just unfair that was just really really powerful and eye-opening to me and I just can't help but think about all of the kids who have dealt with things like that and all of the kids who haven't and just the things that they get a chance to learn from a book like this it's so beautiful and so well done and I'm so thankful that I get to put it in one of those baskets back there and I get to book talk it and I get to hand it to a kid and I get to hand it with a bunch of other books to a kid and then maybe they'll pick this one and maybe it'll have the impact on them that it had on me. And I think that's why, one of the reasons why I have the coolest job on the planet is I get a chance to share amazing books like this. I think this is one that you're gonna to wanna to add to your collection. This novel and verse, it really blew my mind and it touched my heart and it wrecked me, wrecked me. Uh, I don't usually do this in videos, but I do wanna read the first page. I think it's beautiful. And I think it gives you a little bit of a sense of what to expect within the pages. It takes place in 1983 too, like early MTV. Like I was born in 1981. So like I missed some, like this is like, 
kind of like set me up for the MTV that I remember. I really love that. This chapter is called Two. I have two lives, one that is Indian, one that is not. I have two best friends, one who is Indian, one who is not. At school, I swim in a river of white skin and blonde hair and brown hair and blue eyes and green eyes and hazel, school subjects and giggles about boys, salads and sandwiches. And on weekends, I float in a sea of brown skin and black hair and dark eyes, MTV music videos and giggle about boys, some mojas and sabjis. I, I don't know how to say that, so I'm sorry. I don't know how to say that. So apologies for that, I should have been more prepared. In both places, I have gossip and laughter, music and silence, friendship. But only in one place do I have my parents. Oh, I know you want to read it, right? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you get a chance to experience red, white, and whole. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic.